Hi, my name is Gus and I work at the community team in the TOR project. I'm going to speak about the work that we did this year and also what we are planning for 2021. This year, we released a new portal, the community portal, where contributors can learn how to be part of our community, how to run a TOR relay, how to run a TOR bridge, how to localize our tools and websites, how to run user research and collect user feedback, how to set up an online service, and also how to organize our trainings. So since 2018, uh, we have been working with human rights defenders in the global south, delivering our trainings and building a more diverse our community. But in 2020, we were all affected by the coronavirus pandemic. We learned from our, our partners and our friends uh, working in the field that how they were fighting against surveillance pandemic and censorship in their countries. At this moment, with the rise of surveillance and surveillance capitalism, TOR and privacy is more necessary than ever. We, we need to reach out people where they are. So TOR trainings, localization, documentation are very important and at this moment. That's why we organized some online events, the localization hackathon to translate and localize our websites. And before, a little bit before the pandemic, we also had the documentation hackathon to fix and update our documentation. Uh, we also did the another campaign, a new campaign called More Honest Por Favor campaign. Uh, basically, we reach out to multiple organizations and help them to deploy this new feature called Onion Location. You can see Onion Location when you open a website with your Tor browser, like, for example, New York Times, and you can see a purple peel on the uh, address bar. So some metrics for our work this year, uh, on user support, we did over 800, uh, we answer over 800 support by email. We reach out to our community in the global south, in Brazil, Colombia, Mexico, Kenya, Uganda, Hong Kong, Tanzania, India, Indonesia, Ivory Coast, China. We, during the more honest per favor campaign, we had over 60 websites that, that deployed on your location. And during the tower localization hackathon, we had 28 contributors, 20 languages translated, 40, 45,000 word uh, translated during one weekend. So thank you, Erin, and the Localization Lab folks. This event was co-organized by them and was amazing to have your help here. And we also had three outreaches in turn and one fellow from the Berta Foundation helping us. What is coming next? Uh, we are going to release Onion Services Operator documentation. We are going to continue our work with digital security trainings in the Global South, and we are going to have a TOR trainings online meetup. And we are going to continue to work on online hackathons and campaigns, because this is how we are going to build the community and get in touch with people in our community. So thank you a lot. Uh, obrigado. And the next person is my friend, Matt. Thank you.